So leading into this Olympia was definitely a different feeling from past Olympia as I kind of already knew that I was off a little bit and that was the most frustrating part of going on stage that I already knew this wasn't going to be my best. But by, by no means was my intention of walking out there to not perform at my best. And so outcome wise, I, I kind of had this in mind, but it doesn't change the way I was going to execute my plan or give it my all. And you know, walking on the Olympia stage is, is just truly a gift that r many of us will never have. You know, it's, it's just such a rare occurrence and this is my second time doing it. So I wasn't gonna go to Olympia knowing that I was off and let that discourage me anyway or take away from my experience headed out there. So I walk out there with a big smile and, and, and happy as hell to get on the Olympia stage and perform. And I can take satisfaction in knowing that's how I executed on stage and that I was happy and, and nailed the things that I was able to nail. And at the realize too, like going on to bodybuilding, it's never gonna be this linear upward uh, journey. It's gonna be ups and downs. You'll have better showings and your best showings. Your placings might be down or your placings might be up. And so you can't just let one showing just completely uproot you from the sport and, and let you quit. It's just not the way how the sport is. So for, for me, coming off stage and knowing that, hey, I got 13th this year, last year I got fourth, and you're, you're, you're getting worse and letting that discourage me and beat me down. Just another way to learn. Another way to learn of, of what can I do better and, and why did that happen? And moving forward and, and knowing that I have the ability to still win the 212s. I, I believe in that. And so don't lose your belief in what you can do as a person and don't listen to anyone else that shut you down because you had a worse showing because I, I, I do get that like people that um, want to comment on how I looked on stage and uh, and critique my physique and it's it's from people that are not in your inner circle that truly care about you and want to see you do better it's people that want to beat you down and see you fail so you don't listen to those people you just believe in listen to your tight circle the people that love you want to see you do really good um, you know all all my people from from animal and fans that support me and my, my family uh, those are the people that that I take root in. So, you know, the 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 Olympia was a, a blessing for me. It's always a gift to go out there. But you'd be damn sure that I'm going to go on and make improvements and keep getting better as an athlete and as a person and bring that to stage. The, the biggest thing for improvement for this prep would be going weeks back and timing. Now, timing is crucial with bodybuilding, especially on prep. It's easy to lose a week when you make a change and you don't see that pan out. And so I know I need to push my body faster along or start earlier in prep because this conditioning wasn't, wasn't where it needed to be. And so I was a little softer for that. And that last few weeks, I really had to rush prep to try to get the fat off. And rushing the last bit of fat off is never ideal. You can end up looking a little bit thinned out and not as full, and, but you still have fat on you. Um, so for me, it's starting prep a lot earlier pushing harder in the beginning stages and then backing off towards the end. Then I, I've had this constant issue of having um, my tan messed up, which that was a big issue for this past prep. And it's, it's, uh, it's easy to say like, oh gosh, didn't you look at your tan before you walked out there? And being backstage and you're lined up and you're ready to go and the oiling you and dabbing you, that can smear your tan, you won't even know it because you'll already be lined up to, to head out. And I had you know, these smudged tan marks and it can make your look um, not present as well as it actually is. So just nailing the tan is, it seems simple, but it's a part that I need to improve on. And uh, still thought I was a little flat going out in the morning, but I don't think that was the, the big issue to really, to really work on. So moving forward from here, what's next for me? Um, well, for one, I want to actually have some holiday season and, and enjoy the time with the family, but uh, we'll definitely have a shorter contest season this, this next year. Olympia should be back in September, so we'll have a tight window from May to August to requalify, and that's still my goal. I still believe I can do very well in the 212s, so this will see me probably getting back on stage uh, earlier in the contest season and trying to get that requalification and get, get back to the 2021 Olympia.